The weather is getting warmer and the skirts are getting shorter. So I hope you will enjoy this Alani mini skirt tutorial. This skirt is a fairly simple sewing project. The most challenging part will be the zipper, but once you master it, then it will come very easily. There is one slit at the front, however, if you like to, you can easily make two slits as well. Or feel free to skip the slits and just make a straight hand. I will be using the Alani mini skirt pattern, which you can find in our Etsy or online store. The links are below in the description. This pattern comes in A0 format, which you can print at the copy shop and also in US letter A4 format, which you can print with the regular printer. So here are 6 paper pattern pieces. Firstly, of course you will need the fabric. This fabric I have here is viscose and polyester mix and it doesn't drape too well. But then again I can totally imagine this skirt from very soft silky fabric too. Also, I recommend to use an interfacing. It will be needed for most of the fabrics, except if your fabric is very thick already. A matching thread, of course, an invisible zipper, which is 22 cm long or even longer, because we can always shorten it. One pair of small hooks. I will use a sewing machine and an overlock with three threads. But if you don't have it, no worries, you can also use sewing machine zigzag stitch. Hmm, I have a confession to make. This fabric was quite pricey and I was thinking that I will save some money by buying only 50 centimeters of it. And somehow I thought it will be fine. But yeah, I will need to shorten the pattern pieces quite a lot. And okay, let's go for mini mini. <laughs> If you are not completely sure about the length, I recommend to cut the full length at first and shorten them only before we will be sewing the hem and it will be at the very end. And now let's finally start by cutting out all the pattern pieces. As you can see, I'm not folding the fabric exactly on half, I'm folding in a way that the front and back details are on the fabric fold. Here I am putting the facing details on the interfacing because it will be exactly the same shape as for the facing. Also, don't forget to snip the notches. I make small trims which are 3 to 5 mm in the same allowance. If for some reason you don't want to cut your fabric, you can also use a marker or a soap. Let's start by pressing on the interfacing on the facing details. Press the interfacing on all four facing panels. While we are here, I will also make a notch at the middle. This step will help later to easier match the facing and skirt panels. I will also press an interfacing where the zipper will go. I will be using a narrow interfacing strip which is around 2 cm wide and I will press it along the seam allowance. This will be only needed for the back and one side panel. Before sewing, I will search all side seams for all four skirt panel details. Two sides for every panel, so in total it is eight times, right? If you don't have a serger, that's okay, just do the same step with a sewing machine zigzag stitch. Now lay the front panels right side with the side panels right side. Pin the side seam and stitch 1 cm apart from the edge. This didn't take long at all. Take the back panel and place it on the side panel so the right sides are facing each other. This time pin only starting from the notch that indicates the zipper. 
and stitch from this notch down to the hand. Take the other side panel and lay it with the back panel so the right sides are facing each other. This time so starting from the waist to the hem. While we are here let's also pin the final seam and this one will go from the waist to the notch that indicates the beginning of the sleeve. But remember that you are the master here and you can change the height of the sleeve or if you don't want it then simply stitch starting from the waist to the hem. Press all these seams open. I am using the curved shape of my ironing board to my benefit. As you can see, the seams aren't exactly straight, so where the seam gets more curved, I place it more towards the edge. This is a good moment to do a try-on to make sure that everything fits nicely. I have closed the zipper opening with pins. Remember that the upper edge will be 1cm lower because it has a seam allowance for facing, as well as they will be shorter due to hem allowance. Here you can check whether they fit nicely around your waist and hips, and whether you like the height of the slit. Feel free to make the slit higher or lower, and you can also check whether you like the length. But don't forget that there is a hem allowance, so they will be shorter. After you have done the adjustments, if you needed to, let's sew on the zipper. If you are lucky to have this special invisible zipper foot, then put it on your sewing machine. It works really great. But sadly, I cannot find a foot like this that will fit my Genome sewing machine. So I will put this regular zipper foot, which also works totally fine. I will start by opening the invisible zipper and then lay the zipper's right side with the skirt panel's right side. I will work with the one side at a time, so it would be less confusing. Take your pins and pin them in a horizontal way. This is a very important thing, because if you were pinning vertically or even hand stitching, which in general does work great, the zipper would slide a bit up and down, and we do not want this. When the pins go horizontally against the zipper, it is much more fixed in the place. We will be making two seams on the zipper, so the first one will go around 4 mm apart from the edge. This will really help to fix the zipper in place and also later when you will be wearing the skirt it will be nice that this edge is completely on the fabric and it's not loose. Finish the seam around 2 cm earlier than the next seam that is joining the skirt panels together. And now let's repeat the same step with the other side. Make sure that both sides of the zipper are on exactly the same level. And now you can pin horizontally again. Stitch 4 mm apart from the edge. If you are also using this regular zipper foot, then better change it to the other side. Here we are at this very important step, so now we need to make a stitch as close to the zipper teeth as possible, but be very careful not to make any stitches on top of them, because otherwise it will be impossible to close the zipper. For this stitch it is also important to end it some 2 cm above the marking. In other words, we need to leave an opening at the bottom of the zipper, so we can easily close it. Here you can see that opening and now take the slider and close the zipper. I think the result looks pretty nice even though I use the regular zipper foot. As you can see we cannot leave that opening like that, so we need to make a stitch starting from the zipper stitch until the stitch below. 
it will be impossible to get exactly on top of the zipper stitch, so start around 1 or 2 millimeters apart from it. Here you can see that this stitch isn't exactly on top of the zipper stitch. If you have a small bump there, just press it out, it will be fine. And now let's work with the facings. Lay the front facings right side with the side facings right side. And while we are here, I will do the same with the other side facing. Stitch 1 cm apart from the edge. Don't forget to change back to the regular foot. Oh, never mind my mess there. <laughs> Lay the back facings right side together with the side facings right side. Do this step only for the side that will not have a zipper. Press these seams open. Neaten facing edges starting from the side seam along the bottom line and the other side seam. And when you are neatening make sure that the seams still stay flat and open. Lay the skirt panel with the facings right side. Pin the edges that go along the waist. Also make sure to match the side seams. Stitch 1 cm apart from the edge. After that, let's understitch the facing. Make a stitch 2 mm apart from the seam we just made. And do it on the side of the facing while catching the seam allowance under it. I prefer to work from the right side because in this way I feel it's easier to control the distance from the previously made seam. But if you are completely new to this, then you can also work from the wrong side and that way you will know for sure that you are catching the seam allowance. Flip the facing towards inside and make sure that it is not visible from the right side. If you are looking from the inside, we should see like 1 mm of the skirt panel part. Press the facing towards inside. In case if you have very thick fabric, you can cut off some parts of the seam allowances here where the facing and the skirt panels meet together. Just be very careful not to cut inside the stitches. Lay the facing side seam together with the zipper. Pin it and make a stitch around 7 mm apart from the edge. Here we have these very thick corners that have everything. Let's cut them off at an angle and don't cut in the seams themselves, just only these corners and that part of the zipper. So now when we are flipping towards the right side, this corner will be nice and sharp. Gently pull the zipper's upper part so the corner will get the right shape. Repeat the stuff with the other corner as well. Press these corners. Now take the regular needle and let's secure the facing in the place. I highly recommend not to skip this step because Otherwise, every time you will put this skirt on, you will need to tuck in the facing, but in this way they will be fixed inside and there will be no worries about them. So take the seam allowance of the skirt and the bottom edge of the facing and fix them together. Fix the facing to both front side seams and that one back side seam. 
And just to be clear, I am stitching only through the facing and the skirt seam allowances, and this stitch isn't visible from the outside. And here, at the top of the zipper, I will also sew on the hooks. Speaking about the hooks, I think, in my opinion, that if you don't have them, you can skip them. Why I do like to sew them on is because when you are later wearing them, it's so much easier to firstly close the hook and then close the zipper. Otherwise, sometimes it's not so easy to close the zipper. We are so close to the finish line. After you have made your decision about the skirt length, knit in the hem. There are so many options how you can sew the hem. This time I will press the hem allowance first. If you feel like you prefer to sew the hem first and then press it, then you can totally do it that way. Speaking about the slit, there is 1 cm of the same allowance and I am pressing that part as well. Stitch along the hem, then stitch along the slit, stop at the highest point, do like a horizontal stitch and then go back down and around the hem. You know what, I really don't like to do any sort of hand stitching, but this fabric I love it so much and I feel like this skirt is looking so sophisticated, that's why I chose to do an invisible hand stitch. It took me quite some time, I think it was even like an hour. So how I am doing it is I go sort of from the right side towards the left side. Then I catch like 3-4 threads from the main fabric, really really like tiny parts but not too tiny otherwise you will pull out the threads of the fabric and this stitch goes like every four or five millimeters actually once you master the stitch it works very well on light fabrics too but if you prefer a more speedier process then feel free to use a sewing machine and simply sew the hem And the same process for the slit, except the distance from the edge is much more smaller. Give the final press and you have finished. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more sewing and knitting tutorials. Bye!